Hey guys, it's Wexan here and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we cleared everything that there is to do in Violet City. And in this episode, we are going to go and go down this route and get attacked by a wild Pokemon. We're going to see where this route takes us. We can avoid that guy, so I'll show him... Well, in fact, I'm not going to show him. I'm going to battle him off screen. Avoid that girl there quite easily, so we're going to go up here. Alright, so we're going to carry on. Okay, so now we're going to carry on up here and get this item here. Oh, the irony. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, I, I could use an electric type. I would like an electric type and this would save me getting a Thunderstone opposed to catching a Pikachu. So I'm going to see if I can get this. Fortunately Veggie resists electricity, so just going to leech seed. I know that will constantly chip away its health and therefore slightly decrease my chance because I'm going to end up getting it to a point where the leech seed will kill it, but oh wow Thunderbolt. I really want this guy now. I didn't think he'd have Thunderbolt on him, but if he does, I'm going to try getting this guy. Um, just going to try tackling him one more time and start tossing balls then. He should be easy to catch than Bulbasaur and Charmander were, so... Oh wow. I didn't think I'd see one of these, but here we are, and... Didn't even shake once. Yay, got a Raichu. So let's see. I've not caught a Pikachu, but here we go. Careless contact can cause even an Indian elephant to faint. I didn't really realise Indian elephants were in this game, but there you go. Um, what can I call her? I know that there's an episode of the anime where it contains a, a female Raichu called Sugar, so. I'm going to be not very creative and rip off the anime. Alright, now we're out of the grass, finally. Um, I think I can dodge around you. If not, I'm going to throw out sugar. Oh, that's fine. Get around you. And... Ooh! Get around all the trainers there. I'm going to have to battle everyone off, off screen so you guys don't have to put up with it. But Anyway, here we are. Uh, Straight into the Pokemon Center that's on this route. So, as equipping my Pokemon, maybe with an uh, object, their attack increases. What? We've got five Pokemon on the team at the moment, so it's not bad. The team's like filling out rather well. Uh, do you want one of my Canas? Sure. That this well, now you can fish. Can of Vajra. <laughs> so that's basically our fishing rod for the game. Uh, you can't really fish up much good, to be honest. It's all will cost. How much? Oh, go! Thought the children nowadays were lined. Um, can't pick up those berries for whatever reason. Uh, there's the entrance of a cave that we're trying to get to because um uh battle off screen well that didn't take too long actually but now I'm just gonna go up here and grab this item. Alright so finally grab this item the Super Ball. It's an upgraded version of the Pokeball so it's kinda nice to have. Oh a jigglypuff I'm not gonna catch it but it, it's kind of cool to see one of them in the wild. So as I was saying earlier, um, you can see down here there's a little cave entrance. Um, so I guess, I, I guess I'll show this battle actually just because he sort of ambushed me at the bottom of it. And you see there's a little cave entrance there. That's a cave we want to go into because it leads to the next um, city with a gymnasium. So 
Yeah, we're going to want to go there because obviously we're trying to collect all eight of the things from the gymnasium. So, um, yeah, we're, we're actually doing pretty well on this journey so far, considering we're on episode four and we're already on the way to get the second badge. And if you read some of the text of this guy beforehand, you'll find out this guy is actually a follower of the first gym leader that we beat. So he's kind of angry that he sees us with his leader's badge, I guess. I'm not sure if lead is the appropriate term, but anyway, yeah, we've kind of got his idol's badge, I guess. So he's not too pleased about that, but we still beat him up anyway. Konozuko Miss Debility Dates. I'm reading this as best I can, I promise. <laughs> but anyway, into this cave. Um, it's Cuba Union. Ah, uh, I know what we need to do here. Uh, you might remember, like at the top of Sprout Tower, we got this for Flash. Um, at the moment, only Sugar and Veggie can learn it. Uh, I'm going to teach it to Sugar simply because um, she's got um, two electric moves, and that's kind of redundant. So I'm going to get rid of Thunder Shock. So. I always like the animation in Crystal for how they teach TMs to Pokemon. It's pretty cool. So Sugar learned Flash. Um, see, and now when Sugar uses Flash, it expands the light in the cave, and we can now see everything that's going on in here. So I'm just going to switch um, Honey out to front because I don't want her falling behind too much in the levels, so... Okay, so what have we got here? Ooh, Attack X. I don't use X items, but basically it will raise the start of whatever the name of the item is. So, Attack X will raise your attack in battle by like 25 to 50%, I think it is. Uh, Defend X will do the same, but for defense and stuff like that. And I really don't think that Honey's going to be able to take on Onyx. I'm going to send out Veggie. Because, um,. Al still hasn't learned a water type move actually, so that's kind of concerning. I think he'll get at 13, but for the moment I'm just going to use Vine Whip because Onyx is actually double weak to grass moves. So yay. Beats him quite easily. And Veggie's now level 11. I'm just hoping that Honey catches up quite soon to everybody else because it's only level 9 and don't want to fall in too far behind everybody like I said. Yeah, I'm going to cut out this one for you guys. And so we finally got him out of the way. And so now we've got all that out of the way, we can carry on through this cave. Alright guys, so in an off-screen battle with a wild Pokemon, Honey leveled up to level 10. Ah, she's beautiful! Happiness, your honey evolution in Butterfree. And honey learned confusion, so she can now defend herself better than just tackle. Which is always useful. I find the Super Ball. Uh, I think I can get around this guy. Okay, so attempting to get around this guy, and that went well. Yeah, I think there's a lot of trains you can avoid in this, and... There was definitely no stairs on this platform, and if you remember that, you remember wrong. Okay, so let's carry on. I can tell I'm gonna love editing this. <laughs> Just gotta keep on walking and find these stairs. See, I wonder if I can get this with. Nope, I can't get this out without being attacked. Ooh, sand true. Um, I could probably use a ground type to like round out the team a little bit. So yeah, sand true it is, I think. As if he doesn't kill me first. 
Okay, now just hit yourself, Sandshrew, but not too hard. Don't get a critical hit on yourself. That'll do... Um, let's see, I think it's low enough for me to toss balls at and it'll work. I'll try one Pokeball first. Then I'll try the Super Ball. Oh, no need. Sandshrew caught one ball. Ah, so what can I name you? I don't know, I shall name you Monty, because why not? Right, so here we go, pick up this item. Contain two much rocks. Right, so So hopefully we can sneak past this next bit because we're looking for another set of stairs that takes us up. Oh, right. So, continue our search. See, I could fall down this hole, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to help me. See, I think there might be a way up here. Oh, there's an item. All right. So after picking up the item. So after getting that item, we're still looking for a way out. Which must be this way, and there's the stairs. Looking for more stairs? Alright, we can find them. There they are. And then we can see right down there, there's an exit out of here. And can I get past this guy? Yes, I can. So that's another guy to fight off screen. Made it out of the cave onto Route 33, which you get forced to read as you, as you come out of that cave. Um, see, I think we can get around these guys. Uh, well, I rather went into him stupid. I went into him rather stupidly then, so battle off screen. Alright, I think we're out of the woods now, really, in terms of finding trainers and stuff, and hopefully I don't get encountered whilst... Oh, that's nice, there's two little slow poke there, but... There we go. Don't get an encounter in this grass, hopefully. Nope, we're out. Hello, sir, how are you? Enter cave is dangerous, so that reason I must guard. That for every that for safety for everybody. Slowpoke well, also known as Pozo Levia. Native ones believe the horn of Slowpoke invokes to rain. If we don't need to read it again. Well, anyway, we've made it here to, well, not to Caesar's house, but we made it here to Pablo Azalea, where people and Pokemon live in happy harmony. You can see this is where the next gym is, so I think this is a good place to, like, stop this episode. So, join me next time where we're going to be exploring more of Azalea Town. See you then.